And now, names of the Nevada weekend, we have Miss Catherine Hopkins. She portrays Annie Riley in 42nd Street here at the Sahara Hotel. And thank you for joining us. And, well, you, you know, everyone we talked to this morning, Keith and Paige, yourself, Maynard Sloat, it seems like it's a big family. Everyone seems to get along so well. It is. From the very start, I mean, we've only been together for, we rehearsed a week and a half, and now we open, so two weeks. This company is so special. There's such a warmth and, and a love and a caring for each other mm -hmm. that it really is a beautiful experience for all of us. It seems to work really well, too, when you get out there on stage. Everyone has all these different diversified backgrounds. Yes, yes, absolutely. Now, your background, a little different. Now, you actually have a comedy background as well. You, you have a dance background, actor, I mean, an actress as well. Yes. Yeah. Comedy, you, you, you called yourself a triple threat. What does that mean? <laughs> you can do everything. Well, as they say, I can sing, dance, and act. And I was very blessed to be able to work with the famed comedy act, the Weir Brothers. They were uh, a German act. Uh, they're in their 80s now. And I was straight woman with them. What does that involve when, you, when you're a straight woman? Let's educate everybody. Well, in their particular act, uh, I sang, I danced, I played guitar. I was a uh, straight woman for their comedy Acti uh -huh. antics and uh, I would be doing something very very serious and singing a song very serious and they would be in the background doing their funny little bits with the hat and I would be totally unaware of what they were doing <laughs> back there and the audience is just uh, you know laughing and and I, you know I'd be very very serious and singing my thing and then we would do uh, classical something we would do Paganini and then we would go into country western just musically you know, mm -hmm. and it would always get a laugh it was how funny. did that come about for you because it seems that that um, brought up a lot of other, other opportunities for you well, yes, it did. Um, it's very interesting. Getting involved with them. I originally met the Weir Brothers when I was 14 years old. They all knew my father. My father was in show business. He was a wonderful uh, comedian and, and actor, Bob Hopkins. Mm -hmm. And your mother was in yes, show business too. Yes, my mother was a singer and an actress. She was a beautiful lady. Still is. Uh, she was a glamour lovely with in Ken Murray's Blackouts. And my mother and father met in Ken Murray's blackouts mm -hmm. and uh, so I originally met the Weir Brothers when I was 14 and then when I was 19 uh, I worked with all three of them there were three brothers and then after a couple of years little Sylvie the little round one passed away and of course they were very very distraught they didn't know mm -hmm. to whether to continue the act or what so the three of us you know became an act and I no one could take Sylvie's place but you know I became the straight woman with the boys and did all the balancing of the hats <laughs> and the, m m the instruments and everything so it was wonderful and uh, during that time I was doing a lot of film and television also you did a lot of different a lot of the series that we see all the time now Bionic Woman, Starsky yes, and Hutch and yes. all those different things what's it like doing those TV parts on versus now uh, 42nd Street there's a completely two different mediums completely uh, it's, I love it. Uh, there's something very, very special about being on the sound stage. There's a, a very intimate feeling uh, being with the other actor and having the mic right here and mm -hmm. not having to project. But on the other hand, there's nothing like having that live audience right there and getting that instant gratification. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, the instant gratification. Yes. Um, sometimes uh, when, when, when you first start out, are you worried about acceptance or how they're re receiving that, what you're trying to do? You know, if I have someone out there like family or someone whom I'm very close, I'm terrified. Uh -huh. But if there are a thousand strangers out there, just let me at them. I no love problem. it. No problem at all. <laughs> no problem. I just, I just love it. How about the Las Vegas experience now? Um, you're gonna, this is going to be your first summer here. We were trying to warn you about that a little bit while you were waiting for your turn to do the interview this morning. And it's a different kind of a city here. Looking forward to it? You know, I was a bit worried about it but since I've been here there is such a feeling there's show business all over uh -huh. and I'm feeling fantastic about it mm -hmm. I I just adore just being around so much uh, musicals and comics and singers and and the lights and uh, it's very thrilling for me I've been to Las Vegas years ago I did a Starsky and Hutch at, at another hotel here that, where it was filmed and the Weir brothers and I did the Merv Griffin show here also at mm -hmm. Las Vegas and uh, 
you know, but that, at that time I didn't stay here, I didn't live here, and you, just being here for one or two days, you really don't get the feeling of it. But man, I just love getting up and seeing these mountains and the clearness and the fresh air, and and then as, as I said, the energy. There is an energy here. That it almost is so sounds fabulous. like Forty Second Street itself, the way you look at it. Oh like <laughs> God, I love it. I love it. It's okay, perfect. Now Forty Second Street is here at the Sahara Hotel for an indefinite period of time. It's produced by Maynard Sloat. You can catch it every night of the week, yeah. two shows nightly, 7 and 11 p.m. in the Congo showroom at the Sahara Hotel. And this morning, again, we've been talking to four people involved with the show. First of all, Catherine Hopkins, and also we had with us Paige Price, and we had Mr. Keith Ellinger and Maynard Sloat, the producer of 42nd Street. And certainly want to thank you for joining us thank this morning, you, too. Thank I enjoyed it. And thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next Saturday morning for the weekend edition of AM7 Nevada. Have a good day.